Main article. Subject 1138. What do you think I'm afraid of? Being yourself. Being Starkiller. Being Gar. Don't say that name. I'm not him. I'm a clone. A copy. And a bad one at that. Subject 1138 and Ram Kota six months after the death of Galen Marek, Darth Vader brought his body to Kamino and stored it within the cloning facility of Timira City. The body would serve as the genetic template that Vader needed, hoping to clone a more powerful and obedient version of his deceased apprentice. However, due to side effects caused by the accelerated cloning process and memory flashes used in their training, the clones retained the original Marek's memories and emotions and were constantly haunted by visions of his life, many going insane within months. After numerous failures, Vader finally created a clone, Subject 1138, that appeared stable enough to be the first success. Unfortunately, however, the clone began to suffer from the same visions that his predecessors did. By failing to live up to Vader's expectations, the clone was forced to escape from Kamino in order to avoid sharing the fate of the previous clones. Driven by the emotional imprints he retained from Marek, he endeavored to locate Juno Eclipse. By the time he encountered General Kota, the clone had become known by Marek's codename Starkiller, having refused to be called by his template's real name. During the course of his mission to find Eclipse, the clone gradually became confused about his origins, partly because Kota claimed that Force Sensitives had never been cloned in the past. After defeating Vader in combat and rescuing Eclipse from captivity, Starkiller remained uncertain about whether he was a clone or not. He rationalized that it did not matter, since he had broken Vader's control over him, to which Vader calmly stated that he would always control Starkiller as long as Juno Eclipse lived. 